Got our adjustment brush active. Now we're gonna check and see what kind of presets Lightroom has given us, and there are a slew of them in here. So all I did was click the little pop-up menu next to the word effect. So these are all the different, right here are the different presets that Lightroom has automatically. These are just the sliders. So you could, if I wanted to change exposure, I could click exposure, and that would really just be resetting these uh, sliders back here. So six in one hand, half dozen in the other. Either pick the thing here that you want to change or just change the slider over here. I usually just change the slider over here. I don't mess with these. But these are just like quick access to the sliders. But the presets are right here and they're very handy. So we've got a softened skin already in there from the factory. Thank you, Adobe. Look, we got teeth whitening. Isn't that exciting? So let's go ahead and click Soften Skin. And immediately, if you've got this top portion of the panel expanded, and we do because the flippy triangle's down, then you can see exactly what the preset's doing. You're like, oh, it's a negative clarity, but just a hair of sharpness. So with clarity, everything gets crazy soft. So add a little bit of sharpness back to keep it from getting so soft that it looks like a painting. So this is a preset, great learning tool. Go through these presets, you know, with your favorite beverage on a Friday or Saturday night and just look at the changes and then that will be kind of like a learning tool to you. Like, oh, for teeth whitening, what's happening? Oh, interesting, negative saturation. Huh, maybe I wouldn't have thought to do it that way. Maybe I would have uh, lightened the exposure just in the teeth area to make them brighter. But isn't that interesting that the preset drops the saturation instead? Great learning tool. And that there's a million presets in the program. So that's a really helpful thing. So let's go ahead and go back to Soften Skin. Now we're simply gonna come over here to the image and you could use the panel to change brush size if you want. That's really clumsy because you got a mouse all the way back over there. Whereas I like doing it with either gesturing or a keyboard shortcut. Keyboard shortcut is uh, your left and right bracket keys. So the left bracket key goes down on brush size. See how the brush is getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And then if I press and hold the right bracket key, it gets bigger, 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 bigger. You'll notice two rings out there. The space between the two rings, that's kind of like the feather zone. So that's the transition point of the change and the pixels that are not changed so that you're, uh, so that there's not a hard transition between what you painted over and the pixels that you didn't paint over, which is <laughs> a, a bit of a, a tell, if you will, that, ooh, something's been changed in this image. So that's the, the feather amount, and I typically just keep it at, at default. Another way to change the brush size, like I said, is to use the slider over here on the uh, right-hand side. And the bracket keys, in case you can't find them on your keyboard, uh, they're next to the P key. As in Paul McCartney, my favorite beetle, P for Paul. That's where your bracket keys are. So now we can simply paint across our image. Now this is where it's real handy to turn on show mask overlay. That way you can see your brush strokes as you're making them. So now I can just paint, and you don't have to do it in one stroke, so you can release your mouse button. And I'm just gonna paint all around to soften her skin just a little bit. Now, if I go overboard and I paint across an area that I don't really want to be softened, I could mouse all the way over here to the right-hand side and click Erase to put the brush in Erase mode, and then mouse all the way back over here and erase those parts, but that takes way too much time, way too much time. You can put the brush in Subtract mode or Erase mode with a modifier key, and it's Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. See how in the center of the brush now I have a minus sign? So that lets me know and I can go up and brush size. That lets me know that I, wherever I paint, I'm gonna be removing the change from. So I don't wanna soften her lips. I, I definitely don't wanna soften into her eyes too much. But that's just a great way to, to use keyboard shortcuts to be a little bit faster with your painting. And again, we're not painting red on Karen's face. I can just imagine anybody that's tuning in on the internet thinking, oh my gosh, what is going on up there? <laughs> but this is just the overlay to see our brush stroke. So we can turn that off <laughs> by clicking that. And if you, if you mouse over to the pen um, and leave your mouse steady for a moment, don't wheel it around, then that mask overlay will automatically show for just a second while you point your cursor at the pen and then when I move away from it, it goes away. So I'm not 
touching anything, but in a second, then that overlay will come up. So that's really handy to see where you've painted.